Hello and welcome to the Met Office 10 day trend, a 10 day period that includes Halloween, bonfire night and the start of a new month. The crisp autumn sunshine of the week so far may be a distant memory by this time next week because during the next 10 days the weather turns unsettled, particularly so during the weekend, high blustery weekend to come and it will stay changeable into next week, albeit perhaps less lively compared to this coming weekend. The weather so far this week has been dominated by high pressure, sunny days, frosty nights for most of the UK, but the jet stream out to the west has been trying to nudge weather systems our way, and it has made some progress by pushing weather fronts into the southwest of England. Here we've had a couple of days of rain compared to the rest of the country under the sunnier skies, but the Weather front will make a little bit further progress into Wednesday evening and as it pushes against the high pressure, the isobars will tighten, it will turn increasingly windy. So for Wednesday night, a wet and windy night to come for Cornwall, Devon, Somerset, Dorset, parts of South Wales as well, but it's the southwest moors and coasts where we'll see the heaviest rain and the strongest winds, gales in exposed coastal areas. Staying mild here with all of that going on, but further north, a frosty one for Scotland, northern England, temperatures in some sheltered glens, down to minus five or minus six degrees. But by Thursday afternoon, beautiful sunshine once again for Scotland, northern and eastern England as well. Meanwhile, a lot of cloud further west, but the rain and the wind has largely disappeared from the southwest, and it's a little bit milder here, 13, perhaps 14 Celsius. It stays fairly crisp elsewhere. Some of you might be out trick-or-treating into Thursday evening. And the good news is most places will be dry, but there will be some mist and low ground creeping into western parts of the country, western Scotland, Northern Ireland, Wales and the southwest, where later on it will turn wetter. That rain, courtesy of the weather fronts that are finally nibbling away at the high pressure and breaking the seal, spreading in for Friday. This is the day when we replace high pressure with low and unsettled weather sweeps across the whole of the country. So this is how it looks during Friday. It's just rain or outbreaks of rain spreading across the country, not wet all the time, but yeah, it's a dull, damp one and with a lot of low cloud and mist as the milder Atlantic comes in over cold ground and it is milder, 15, 16 Celsius by Friday afternoon. What's causing this change? Well, we have to go back to the current time, Wednesday, to see what's happening with the jet stream. And at the moment, the jet stream is being diverted around the UK because of the high pressure in place, acting like a stone in a stream. But if you'll notice, out to the west, over North America, a much powerful part of the jet stream is starting to emerge. And this is due to significant temperature contrast, a big cold plunge over North America, coming up against very warm air across, say, Florida and the southeast of the US. And that temperature contrast then fuels an active jet stream. And it's this portion of the jet stream which we can follow during Wednesday and into Thursday, it exits North America, and then it pushes away all of this wobbly jet stream and it digs in across the UK that then acts like a conveyor belt. It spins up areas of low pressure and sends them our way. In fact, running through quickly Saturday and Sunday, you can see how the jet stream just picks up low after low after low after low and pushes them into the UK. And by Sunday, it's just a mess. It's almost as if you're juggling four balls. You're trying to predict which one will land where. And that becomes very difficult when we're talking about four or five days ahead. Suffice to say the weekend is unsettled. It's messy. There'll be wind and rain, but not for everyone all the time. This is how Saturday looks. There'll be some wet weather pushing east and then lingering across northeastern parts of the country along with a strong wind. Further south, bright spells, yeah, and some showers coming in from the west. And so it's not all a washout, but there will be some gusty winds and some heavy showers around 11, 13 degrees, temperatures above average into Saturday night. It could become very lively as the, this area of low pressure spins up and spreads across southern parts of the country. Not good news if you're uh, attending fireworks displays on Saturday nights, but timings are tricky to predict at the moment. There will certainly be gaps in between these low pressure systems. It's a case of paying close attention to the weather forecast. By Sunday, another low spins up, heads towards England and Wales. Meanwhile, these low pressure systems are slow moving across the northeast of the country. There could be some prolonged wet weather for northeast Scotland, northeast England, something we'll keep an eye on over the next few days. But you'll notice gaps in between the weather systems. It's not a washout. There will be some sunny weather 
in between. 11, 12 degrees, temperatures not far from average. Now into the start of next week, the low pressure does move away. Uncertainties with different computer models saying different things about how quickly it will move away. Some of them say that it will move away quite quickly and we'll have a dig of particularly cold Arctic air Tuesday, Wednesday. But more computer models suggest that the next low will move in before that happens. And so the weather's settling down for a time early next week, perhaps a bit of a chill for a day or two, but then we're back to low pressure moving in courtesy of the jet stream. The most likely position for the, jet, uh, the low pressure for the middle of next week is out to the west of the UK. And it's by this stage, you'll notice the jet stream's to the south of the UK and it's quite amplified compared to the weekend. That means these low pressure systems will be slower moving. And this is the end of next week. It's not moved far. It's likely to bring more rain to Wales in the southwest. Not great news here but longer, drier interludes elsewhere, perhaps. Now, with the jet stream to the south of the UK, temperatures will remain below average. So next week, yeah, unsettled, not quite as windy, not quite as boisterous as the weekend, and it will continue to feel cold. We'll have the details as and when we get them, of course, and you can follow us on social media to find out the latest.